Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Back up, backing you up with the information that matters to you Hey yo, check this out man Look, rarely in hip hop do we see artists giving each, uh, other artists like public accolades You know what I mean? But every time we see it, I think it's something I could appreciate And Kodak's selection of artists to want to rock with, in my opinion Are relatively wise choices, man You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, one is Takashi 6 ix 9 and the other is Quando Rondo Alright, look, 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 I'm just joking Look, 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 one of them is Kendrick Lamar and the other person is J. Cole, man. And Kodak had this to say concerning J. Cole. He said, quote, he said, he gives me great advice and he wants to see me win. Some people will try whole information back. He give it to me raw and stuff like that. Close quote. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, the act later says, he gave me great advice and he wants to see me win. Some people will try to hold information back, uh, but he gives it to me raw and stuff like that. Close quote. You, you see, that's what's up, man. When folks want to see you win, you know what I mean? <laughs> Themselves, look, the, those are the dudes that you really need in your corner, man. Folks that want to see you win. Unlike unlike the, the Saweetie situation, okay? Uh, now, we, we posted, I don't know if we posted it on this channel or the other channel. I don't remember where we posted it, but the, the Sweetie situation is a relatively interesting situation. Now, she dropped, um, she, she dropped like a, was it an album or a song? She did a song, right? And um, one of the, the, part of her problem with the song that she did was the timing of it. Now, because with the song, she did address her split with Quavo. You know what I mean? But the fact that it, she addressed that right after the situation involving Takeoff, it made it seem like it was just the timing was just abysmal. It was like you gotta be an idiot to drop this particular statement concerning. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like who the hell does that? I don't understand why. But maybe somebody thought like, yeah, now was a good time to drop this. No, it's a dumb time to drop it. Anyway, um, her sales projections came in and they came in at like two two k. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, oh, two hundred k? No, no, two k. I said two k, right? 2,000 views or something like that, all right? DJ Vlad hopped on the, on, the, on the internet and said, if Sweetie did a Vlad TV interview, she would have easily done 10 times her first week sales. We actually reached out through one of our people and we were told she won't do Vlad, her loss. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Drake album was really for her. Uh, now, um, it's funny because Sweetie heard what Vlad said and said, actually, I'm a big fan and I've screen recorded my favorite episodes. Here's one of them, Dates on Top. So if anyone reached out, it wasn't to me or my team, DJ Vlad, happy Thanksgiving. So here she is saying, yo Vlad, I don't got no beef with you. In fact, I would have loved to have done, a, done an interview with you. You see what I'm saying? But here you can see the communication breakdown. He tried to send information out to her, someone blocked it. They, you know what I'm saying? They did the block on that joint. You know what I mean? They, they goaltended. You know what I mean? Listen, she said, uh, you know what I mean? She said, if someone reached out, it wasn't to me or my team. Sweetie, we're afraid it was someone on your team. You know what I'm saying? My man said, um, Vlad came back and said, uh, <laughs> my bad. Your man said, thank you for the kind words, but actually, it is your team. Your publicist at Warner Bros. is the one who blocked the interview. The same publicist who set up your interview with Shirley Zhu. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, apparently, it's come out that her publicist does not like Vlad. Um, it was stated that the publicist told Vlad she, she wouldn't ever have her artists do Vlad interviews. <laughs> I said, dang, yo, it's like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like that. People be doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> one person came out and said, uh, this is what happens when you have bad people in your corner making decisions on your behalf. Okay. Another person said, um, for everyone who's asking, the publicist uh, I'm speaking about who block interview requests uh, behind Sweetie's back is Warner Brothers Senior Vice President of Publicity, Asia White. Her Twitter is Asia White. I said, damn, why they put the girl Twitter out there? You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes it be that's how it plays out, man. Some folks just don't like, like, and, and that's this, that. They don't like Vlad, and you're not getting, a, we're not having our artists do Vlad. I think that's what happens when you just are not able to make the decisions on your own. Or at least if someone doesn't respect you enough to notify you, like, yo, so-and-so wants to do an interview with you. You see what I'm saying? It goes to show you how little control the artists really have. You know what I mean? 
Uh, what's I'm trying to look like over here, man? Check this out, man. Um, let me let me let me let me uh, provide you with an update on the little cam situation, okay? Cause, I mean, now you probably heard about this already. Um, we're gonna cover it on the main channel too. But let me just let me just let you know, man. Uh, 22 year old Lil Kim ha has been taken into custody. Okay, they they um, it was reported that he had a weapon on on the night of the killing, and that's super important to note. Okay, um, now a lot of people are saying that they believe he is the the trigger man. You know what I mean? The guy in, he is the guy in the yellow hoodie, as far as we understand. You know what I mean? He's the guy in the yellow hoodie. Uh, a, a lot of people believe him to be the trigger man. It was stated, quote, for the people that don't understand what's going on, they know he killed Take, but they don't have enough to arrest him for murder because he had a gun on, because he had a gun and he is a felon. That's enough to arrest him and hold him while they test the gun to see if it was used in the murder. OK, that's what was being stated. Um, I think that was on that was in the comment section. OK, that was one user that 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 spoke on, you know, what's going down with the investigation and providing their input on the situation. You know what I'm saying? But there is like from the sheriff's office, you could see like all the information that shows that he was booked on um, November 22nd. OK, and it was just, you know, he, he was carrying a weapon. And yeah, I mean, we all knew like it was going to it was either going to be that or he was going to get popped. All right. Um, another person made a very interesting statement. They said, there's no way that Jay Prince Jr. was letting a straight hoodlum that didn't work for him into a private party of his. They have to all go down. That's what somebody said, man. Essentially saying like, yo, man, this guy did not act of his own volition. He did not act on his own accord or anything like that. He specifically, you know what I'm saying, was being charged to do what he did. And, and, and. Because um, folks are saying he was also there the night that Duke the Jeweler was murdered, chances are they're probably gonna try to connect, you know what I'm saying, the, the, you know what I mean, like the bullets or whatever that were present at that scene with this same gun that this dude used, providing that it's, it's the same gun. And I mean, like, I don't know, like, I guess a guy like me, like I wouldn't commit murder, right? But if I did, I don't even think I would use the same weapons every time. I would just use different, you know what I'm saying? Different burners and throw them in a the sewer. Different burners and throw them in a the sewer. But that's just, uh, I'm this, that's coming from a mind of a person that does not murder. You see what I'm saying? Because my thing is like, I mean, if, they're, if they're tracing back multiple bullets to the same gun, goodness gracious, then man, they're going to put this man up. They're going to give him like the death penalty or something. Don't Houston got the death penalty? I don't know. It ain't looking good for this dude. Nor is it looking good for whoever employed him for the job. Because you know what's gonna happen, man. They're gonna they're just gonna say, yo, man, you're the guy that did all these murders and you did it in the name of, you know what I mean? And then since you did it in the name of such and such, man, like it's gonna be a huge, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a Rico. It's gonna be it's gonna be some kind of a Rico charge, man. And and when you know when you're dealing with a Rico charge, man, I mean if you even if you even snickered at a joke, they they putting you in that joint too. So everybody, it's gonna be a there's gonna be there's gonna be a bad year. Wait, no, 2023. 2023, a lot of people about to go down. You know what I'm saying? I'm just throwing it out there. And you know, with the Rico charge, man, they'll build that sucker for years, man. So and so if they have been building it for years, it's about to go, it's about to go bad fast. Y'all know how it's gonna go, man. You know what I mean? Now everybody, look. Yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Am I crazy, man? Am I too? Oh, 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 let me add this last story on real quick, man. Just to let you know, man. Um, now I'm not too familiar with this dude. I, I, I am not too familiar with this guy. So please, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm gonna just post what um Ti posted concerning Hovane. You know what I'm saying? Hilton. All right. Um, apparently, Hovane Hilton passed. Okay. And um, T.I. posted He said it's with deep regret that we messaged uh, To all the family, friends, and colleagues That Jonathan Hovain Hilton passed away While at his home on Friday, November 25th He was a beloved and devoted father, husband, son, brother And a proud Brooklyn representative And we like to thank all of his close friends For all the love and support that y'all shown During this difficult time We ask that all um, that y'all continue to keep his family in your prayers And respect their privacy at this time Now I don't really know um, Too much about Hovain Hilton, man I think, uh, you know, maybe like, like, I guess when he was doing a whole lot of moves and stuff like that, that were like really in your face, uh, it might've been during a time when I just wasn't like paying attention to hip hop like that, man. So I don't really know. I know that he is like some kind of, a, he was a hip hop manager. You know what I mean? And, um, he was a, a cinematic music group exec. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't have too much, uh, m more information on exactly, you know what I mean? Like a lot of his endeavors, man. Um. Uh, 
Hey, look, you can't know everything everything about every single person. I mean, come on, bro. Like, this is too much information. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, but, but of course, man, you could always provide us a, a little bit of info, man, in the comment section, man. We definitely will appreciate that, man. Yo, in the meantime, man, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Backup, backing you up with the information that matters to you. <laughs>